Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Off screen we've been doing a whole lot of uh, rubbing vivid sense on Starmie so that we can purify it now. So let's see what moves it gets. Hopefully it's decent otherwise I'll have to select a different six team member after all. Come on. I'm dying with excitement. What does it get? Waterfall? Why the hell waterfall? Why not surf or hydro pump? And refresh. Ooh, that's real freaking. Oh, ice beam. Okay, guess that's okay. I mean, I needed a good ice move on my team. Alright then. So, gentle nature, that's not really that great. Waterfall, refresh, ice beam, recover. Well, I guess waterfall will have to do if it doesn't get surf or hydro pump. Because I can't do anything about that because Surf is an HM, which is the HMs aren't in this game. And you can only learn Hydro Pump through the move reeler only when it's a star you. So I'm stuck with Waterfall. Let's see, do we have any TMs that it gets? The Starmie gets Shadow Ball. No, it doesn't. Pretty sure it doesn't get Earthquake. It already knows Ice Beam. So Giga Drain is probably a no. Yeah, that's a no as well. But it's worth a try. Now I kind of feel bad that I used the freaking Thunderbolt TM on Ampharos. Starmie could have used that one so badly. Oh well. Let's just put Starmie up front. Because he needs to uh, kind of catch up to the rest of the team because he's not really that strong yet. But yeah. Now that my team is complete, you can all stop. Like asking, oh, GS, what's your sixth Pokemon gonna be? I wanna know. Well, now you know, no need in for further asking. Although, one of the six I have on me will be swapped out for a different one a few parts from now. Let's see. Self destruct. Can Starmie, like, get that? No, Starmie does not get self-destruct either. Uh, let's see. Mimic. Thunder Wave. Who can get Thunder Wave? Starmie can, but... I don't really see why it should get Thunder Wave. Uh, We'll teach it Mimic, I guess. Maybe that can come in handy someday. Everyone can learn Mimic, but we will teach it to Starmie. It knows four moves already. OMG. Get rid of bloody refresh. I have Heal Bell on Ampharos anyway. And Starmie might have Natural Cure. So there's really no need for refresh. Yeah, you know, that's one thing I thought about, like, about Starmie's Dream World ability, like, a few days ago. Starmie got, like, this Analyze, or Analytic, I don't really know what it's called in English yet, ability. But one that I think should have, would have been much more fitting is that is the Regeneration ability. I mean, doesn't it, like, say in all the Pokedex entries that Starmie can regenerate itself? Like when it gets injured or something. That really does sound like it should have regeneration in my book. But no. Let's give it to bloody Mian Xiao instead. Because a Kung Fu Ferret really knows how to regenerate itself. Yeah. Abilities do not make sense sometimes. And... Yeah. I'm gonna take Seal in my party for a moment there. Because Seal has something I want. I'm sure you guys have seen it already. But Seal has the Mystic Water. Which I will give to Starmie to power up its water moves. And then we can promptly put Seal back in the storage box. Because come on, you weren't really expecting me to use that thing now, were you? Alright, Primeap, get back in there. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of Shadow Pokemon left to purify. 
Oh, such a daunting task. The primate doesn't have a held item. Because the black belt, the held item that powers up fighting moves, was attached to the shadow Hitman Lee which Ampharos just happened to knock out after it used bloody... What's it called? Uh, shadow half to ha half its own HP as well. So we'll give Primeape just a wide herb for now. Might help if we like run into a Pokemon with Intimidate or something. So that he doesn't get neutered immediately. And now I will take a sip from my Coca-Cola which is delicious. <sighs> I love Coca-Cola, it's such good stuff. Even though they apparently they say they, they put like cocaine in it, well, if that's the case then I'm a drug addict. Because I'm addicted to Coca-Cola. Anyways, back to Citadark Isle. Because we have some unfinished business there. And now that we're packing six Pokemon, nothing, no one can oppose us. And we also have a handy dandy elevator to ride up to the top. Yay! And we're right back here where we fought Snattle in the previous... Or in... The video before the previous video. And, uh, Krabbits. That guy. Do you remember me? Yes, you're one of Mr. Varich's guards. Yeah, he's the guy who beat down Zook with his Alakazam. Thought you were just an ordinary child. Little did I suspect that you would become Cypher's biggest and most damaging threat. That's enough talk. You have the skills and where where withle? Where withle? Really? Anyway, Cypher Admin Ardos wants to battle. So, we'll promptly kick his ass, and there he comes with his Swallow and Alakazam. And who did I have? I had Starmie and Ursaring. Okay, Starmie, time to show me what you've got. Oh, does he have, like, Shadow Pokemon? Shadow Swallow. But no Shadow Alakazam. Boo. Alright, we shall... Waterfall the Swallow and return Alakazam. I mean, I know Swallow's not that bulky, but Starmie doesn't have any EVs yet. Swallow is neutral to Waterfall, so. And it does actually live it, so I'm happy. Oh crap, Thunder Punch. That's a special move in Gen 3, but Starmie actually takes it. Hooray for Starmie! And Ursaring will promptly destroy Alakazam, because Alakazam's physical defense is about as strong as a paper towel. Alright, what else does he have? Ah, oh, crap, Kingdra. I don't like Kingdra. It's way too hard to take down if you don't have a dragon move. I mean, the 8th gym leader in Soul Silver was so hard. Hell, the only reason I beat it was because my Feraligator got lucky and got freeze hacks due to Ice Fang. And that's the only way I ever beat that Kingdra. Well, uh, Ultra Ball on Swellow. I think Swellow is actually pretty easy to catch. I don't think it has that high of a catch rate. So we'll see how it goes. Get in the bloody ball, you bird. Three, and we have Swellow, that's one. But he has more Shadow Pokemon where that ones came from. Like Heracross. Oh no, Heracross isn't Shadow Pokemon. Okay, whatever. So we'll just recover for now. And he goes for double edge, gets a crit, and wipes out Starmie. Well, so much for Starmie's first battle. That did not turn out well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you might be wondering, dude, what the hell are you doing sending out Houndoom when there's a Kingdra on the field? But I have a plan. Or at least I thought I did. Or I just... Like, that tends to be me. Act first, think later. That's kind of what I do sometimes. And it actually works out for me most of the time, so... 
I'm not worried. Flamethrower, Heracross, Return on Kingra. I mean, Houndoom's got like a crap load of EVs because I like th trained that thing since it was level 17 or something. And it completely destroys that Heracross before it can like hit Ursaring with a super effective fighting move. Alright then. What else does he have? An Electabuzz. And it's a Shadow Electabuzz. Although that one... Electabuzz really is not that great of an electric type, so... Just use Ampharos instead. It's much better. And he actually uses Hydro Pump on Ursaring again. I mean, come on, you'd think an admin would be smarter than that. But apparently, I'm giving this guy more credit than he deserves. And Ursaring's level 44. Nice. And Houndoom's level 45. Very nice. And what else does he have? Snorlax. Oh, crap. It's a Shadow Snorlax. This might be... Trouble. And the freaking Shadow Sky is still going on. Which probably won't help me out either. All the worst ring heals it right off with leftovers. So, yeah, let's... Flamethrower, the Snorlax, Brick Break, Electabuzz, see where that takes us. Pretty sure if that Snorlax has thick fat, Flamethrower is not going to do anything to it. And he's going to lower my evasiveness again. For some reason, I'm predicting Shadow Panic from Snorlax. I sure as hell hope not, but... This game tends to be cheap on me, so... Who knows? Come on, get burn hacks. Wow, that did nothing. Might be a thick, fat Snorlax, alright. And break, break. Well, that's adequate damage on Electabuzz. Shadow End, what's that do? Okay, apparently it's really strong. Oh, it's a recoil move. Crap, that Snorlax is like gonna kill himself with a recoil. I'm not gonna do anything about it. Ah, crap. This calls for Ampharos. I don't really know why, but maybe if you paralyze Snorlax, you can like prevent it from attacking so it doesn't kill itself. Yeah, let's go with that plan. And see what Houndoom can do to Electabuzz. Oh, and Snorlax has leftovers. Let's see, Flamethrower on... Oh, we'll charm Snorlax. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. And body slam Electabuzz. Just watch as I will probably get static hacked by that Electabuzz. Because that tends to always happen to me whenever I attack a Pokemon with static. And I know why, but he keeps lowering my bloody evasiveness. Well, if that's what he wants to do. Like, if these guys would just attack all the time, they might actually defeat me. But no, let's go lowering his stats while he destroys my Pokemon. Yay. No static. Yay, no static. That makes me ecstatic. And despite the charm shadow end, still wrecks Houndoom. I mean, damn, Snorlax, you strong. So, that's another plan foiled. We I mean, have Espeon and Prime maybe left, that's not gonna be good. So we'll just send out Espeon and see how I'll deal with that monster Snorlax in the next part of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Thanks for watching, hope you guys liked it, and stay tuned for more. Bye.